I'm going to describe a little box I call the Squeaky. It's an ultra simple device that every amateur will want to build. It detects even the smallest bit of RF and it's a great tool for various transmitter, antenna and other experiments. All parts are easy to find and you can use it as a substitute for a field strength meter. Though the squeaky has a few extra features as well. The squeaky is a voltage controlled oscillator controlled by a triple five timer IC. You set the sensitivity to just before it starts to oscillate and that's where it's maximally sensitive. Any bit of RF will get the thing clicking and if there's lots of RF, it will start to squeak. Here's the circuit. As to how you build it, you could use a printed circuit board, piece of matrix board, or do it real simple like I did with dead bug construction. The circuit board is about four by four centimeters. And you can see in the center is the triple five timer IC. The top of it is glued to the board. And then the other components are soldered across its pins. All the parts are easy to obtain. Even the detector diode is a silicon type whose sensitivity is improved with the use of DC bias. That is controlled by the potentiometer here, which is also the sensitivity control. Underneath the board is just an ordinary 8 ohm speaker. Doesn't matter what size it is. If you wanted to, you might even have an electronic toy that already has the speaker built in. In which case you could just rip out the original electronics and put in a board like this. Let's get squeaking. You set the squeaky to the point just before it starts to oscillate. That's where it's most sensitive. You apply RF and it starts to make a noise. Go nearer and then it squeaks, going higher and higher with more and more RF. We'll just throttle back the sensitivity. And at this point, it's not very sensitive at all. You have to move the radio right next to it to work. Here, its range is only about five centimeters. How far can the squeaky pick up a handheld? I've just set it to the point of oscillation. I ended up getting a range of around 15 metres, just with this 5 watt 2 metre handheld. That makes it surprisingly sensitive and probably more sensitive than a lot of conventional field strength meters. Another benefit is that you can hear it a lot further than you can read the meter needle on a field strength meter. If all this rings a bell, you're not mistaken. I've described a similar audible RF field strength meter in a previous video. I'll have a link to that below. The difference with the Screechy is I've rebuilt it, put it in a nice box and can now really use it as a portable piece of equipment. For instance, you could use it to help adjust a QRP antenna coupler, where you are adjusting on the basis of field strength. How many other uses can you think for the Squeaky? One possibility is as a CW side tone for a QRP transmitter that doesn't have one. Just put its antenna anywhere near RF is coming out and there should be enough to pick it up. 
Another possibility is as a sniffer for fox hunts when you're really close to the fox. Here I've got the bow thing connected to a 70cm Yagi. You'll be able to tell how directive it is from the sounds you hear from the squeaky. I'm about two metres away from this squeaky and can't hear anything off the back of the beam. But as soon as I turn it towards it, it detects RF. And I can walk a lot further back and it's still detecting. The squeaky is so sensitive that even RF like you find on antenna connections is enough to get it ticking. It's really small, portable, you can take it everywhere, very cheap to build so why not build your own squeaky and I think you'll find it's one of the most useful RF test instruments you could ever make. <laughs>